right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, we are here today with Mr. William. Hello. And uh, the rest of the family was up here, but um, they just left. And, and so we went over here and parked, and I got out of my truck and I, we smelled something. We smell... And, Burnt plastic smell. Yeah, and what, what was it exactly that we smelled? It's coolant. Coolant. So let's take a take a look here. Get my crate because I'm a short fella. Coolant has been sprayed. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it real well. If you look at the bottom of the axle, there is a puddle of coolant. Yeah. And so, Sir William is making a 1,400 mile road trip on Monday. In let's this not truck. forget what else we found too. You spin that clutch flan. That clutch Hold fan. that. Flan, I said. Can you see it? Yeah. That's not supposed to happen, is it now? No, it is not. And you're probably going to need a new belt just because it's yeah. wearing on it on the sides. But So that. basically, we've got to figure out where the coolant leak's coming from, figure out what's going on with that pulley, and then we're also going to be doing... Uh, um, tie rod ends here from Napa. That's a thing that we were going to work on in the beginning, yeah, but and the oil change. Yeah, but uh, we found a couple other things here uh, as usual on the channel. Every time we work on something, we have to figure out something else is not right. So um, I think where we're going to go ahead and start on this is we're going to take this shroud off and get this out of our way so we can kind of see and work on what's going on right in here. So. Um, just stay tuned and we'll catch back up here in a minute. Okay, so as you can see here, this fan clutch pulley is, uh, I don't think it's any good. Go ahead and give it a, give it a wiggle. You That's can supposed see to it. shake like that. Yeah, and then, so also, so basically we took our, the fan shroud out and then also, uh, as you can see, we've got a breaker bar down there on the uh, pulley tensioner, so. William's going to go down there in just a second and uh, relieve that. We're going to remove the belt. And then we're going to attempt to get that fan clutch broke loose. So we will do that now. We figured out where the coolant was coming from on this uh, 2013 Dodge. Uh, it's a half ton of gasoline. But, uh, so basically the coolant leaks coming from the water pump. We've already removed the fan clutch and the cooling fan. And as you can see here, it's moving. Don't know if you guys can see that, but that is not supposed to happen. Um, so, oh, and let's, let's just go ahead and show them the other embarrassment. Might as well. All of it. Let's park just like this. I promise. Show them the cap because they can't see inside. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there either. Yeah, definitely not. That's from water. Um, so basically, what we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to replace the. We're going to go ahead and replace the radiator. Uh, we're going to replace the water pump, the thermostat, and then we're going to flush the entire system. The fact good. that the vehicle made it up this far is a by, yeah. beyond stances of a miracle. Right, I mean, there's no clue. You're supposed to like, you're supposed to be able to open this cap and see coolant in there. There's not been coolant there for a while. That right there is coolant. It's all yeah. huddled up underneath the vehicle. So, um, to get the fan clutch off or the shroud, we ended up breaking ours. Uh, it's under the truck, whatever. But uh, it's honestly, it's just two bolts up here. Slide the fan shroud out with 
and then uh, basically to get the fan clutch and the, and the cooling fan off, we went to O'Reilly's and rented a, uh, a fan clutch wrench set. Uh, so it's the 36 millimeter side. You'll put it down on that nut. <coughs> nut. And uh, our, Can't boy, smell nutrition. our boy William here uh, with the channel locks, grab the uh, pulley, held the pulley, and then just give it some taps with the hammer, the wrench. We would have recorded it, but we hit this, uh, this stopping yeah, yeah, we like, really wanted we, to get it over with. We started filming this at like probably two, and it's like six, six seven now. So, and and we just got the fan clutch off like not that long ago. So, yeah. <laughs> so eventful day, eventful day. We figured out we got some problems, um, uh, but yeah. So, looks like we're gonna be buying our stuff from AutoZone. <sighs> not a huge, huge fan. Look at that diesel <laughs> Ford. Anyway, uh, not a Cummins, but uh, um, yeah, so we're going to be buying all of our stuff. I guess AutoZone has a kit that is a water pump, new fan clutch, all the hardware, gaskets and stuff. So I'm happy about that. We're going to get a new thermostat, get everything. I'm repeating myself at this point, so I'm going to stop now. Um, also in this video, what we are going to be doing is, which we may end up having to make it a part two. I don't know. We'll see how long this one takes. Um, on this truck before Monday so it is Saturday before Monday we need to put new tie rod ends on it we need to change the oil put a new water pump on it and all that other stuff I just listed off so it will be a very eventful day tomorrow yeah. clash of the Titans style event yeah, yeah exactly so <laughs> when you guys are seeing this next clip it'll be actually the day after so uh, yeah. Uh, you got anything to say, William? We'll it's see your you guys. truck. We'll it's see your you. truck. Well, okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, we will. All right, so it's the next day here. Um, so basically what we're going to start today is um, we're going to go ahead and uh, take this hose off here. It's uh, The thermostat goes down in here. And basically, we're gonna take the thermostat out, and then in here we're gonna pour some uh, some uh, radiator flush stuff in here. And then we're gonna start it up for a minute, and then uh, turn it off, let that stuff circulate, and then we're gonna start draining the radiator, the coolant out, and go from there. So hopefully, uh, we'll see how this goes. It can be messy. Oh yeah, it could be. Hopefully not.
As you can see, we got our radiator out. Um, yeah, that's the radiator. It's gross. That thing isn't bad, but it's full of uh, stuff that does not belong in there. So we just got our AC here resting. Um, we're not going to be able to put the water pump in today. As you can see, we're out here in the middle of a parking lot, so we don't really have access to a water outlet, which we need to flush out the system. So basically what we're going to do for that is this top hose here. Uh, we're going to put a water hose down in it. Or actually, we'll probably just take the hose off and stick it into the top of the water pump housing there and just let water flow through it and then uh, drain it out the bottom hose, the bottom end of the water pump. And then just keep doing that and keep doing that and hopefully hopefully we can get it all uh, flushed out of there and then after that uh, but today what we're going to be doing for the rest of our time on here today is we're going to be putting in the new radiator so um, basically the only thing that holds on the radiator secures it to the truck are two long bolts which as you can see here these two of these up top and then that uh, also has I think two bolts connecting to the AC which is I'm sorry it's got about four bolts that connects it to the AC and AC lines so just have to remove that stuff be careful with your AC lines you know it's it can be fragile make sure you're not just letting it hang it's uh, I've got it supported over there on the other radiator mount so yeah we're wrapping this up slowly but surely basically we're just gonna rent a wash cart a wash trailer and bring it out here we're gonna pull it with the old the old Dodge the old Cummins one ton the tow rig I'm gonna have a little tiny trailer it's like a five by five trailer but well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to flip the tow mirrors out you know just because we're pulling something but anyway been waiting for the opportunity to, to flip those out for Jake but um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started here with the uh, the new radiator up this video for the radiator install over here uh, as you can see our old one sitting here so with aftermarket parts a lot of times the fitment's a little off and the fitment is definitely a little off on this and uh, so but that's okay it'll work for now it's, it's a nice shiny part in here and um, um, but yeah so that's gonna wrap up the part one of this video check out the part two um, it'll be coming soon which the part two will entail the flushing of the cooling system, putting a new water pump, new thermostat, and then a new fan clutch, which is over there. So um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and um, we'll see you guys next time.